for credit, you know, and they run your social security number and you give them permission, which is your AKA signature, they are going to get paid. So when you see those credit things, they're like, oh, you know, some cool. You know, it won't show up on your credit report. No, it don't show up on your credit report. But when they run the application, they get paid. So when they hit you back and they deny you and say, oh, your credit score wasn't good enough, this and that, you're supposed to know how to hit them with the adverse action letter in the administration process and let them know, hey, you can't lawfully deny me my credit because it's your credit. It's not their credit. They're not actually giving you anything. You think about a home loan that you've received from the bank, so to speak. The bank doesn't have any money. What money did you ever receive from the bank getting a loan from them for anything? Car loan, home loan, any kind of loan, personal loan. There was actually no exchange of lawful money. The only thing that they did was put digits in the in the computer, you know, digital currency, because we've already been operating on that. I know people think that this is something new that they're coming up with, but they've already been getting people trained and conditioned to operate with digital currency, all right, by putting those fictitious numbers in the computer system and having you to pay them back. They're actually having you to submit payments to them, and you don't know the whole time you're supposed to be actually accepting the credit from them and sending that back to them as accepted for value with your letters of instructions telling them on what they need to do and how to actually settle the debts on this account, all right? So we're going to get into that later about what you actually need to do the full process to endorse uh, what they call endorse, you might hear some people say remit, you might hear some people say accept for value, you may hear some people say discharge. Now, I like to explain discharging as actually getting rid of a full contract, so to speak. Like, say, for instance, a mortgage, car loan, things of that nature, because they have a specific price on there, plus except for a specific amount of interest and fees that are agreed to be paid out during that time. So, all of those numbers that you see, it's, even if they, especially if you pay the down payment, that's totally illegal. All of those numbers that you see, that is supposed to be coming back to you. All right. Now, this is just on the lower end. You can this you can zero out your accounts directly with the company. Discharging, um, you you can do directly with the company, but offsetting is more so a process that you would do with the IRS. Um, the IRS, and that relates to filing taxes. All right. So that is going to be on the advanced course because that's a little bit more intricate when you get to that part. But knowing how to do this first. You know, because most people want to know, well, how do I get my money back? How do I get my money back? Or can I buy something with this? No. You can only zero out and discharge debts that are old, okay? You cannot do this to purchase something new. So people want to know, how can I take, you know, uh, 1099 to the car, the car lot? And that's not going to happen because you have to actually get into the contract, all right? So a lot of people that are in the space of operating in the private, the first thing...